Hello, my name is Winston Wallace. I want to recall an event that happened to me, to my wife, Mary Lou, my daughter, Marissa, and my niece, Teresa, in the year of 1977, concerning a UFO, unidentified flying object. This happened in Stockton, California. Uh, I've written this down 10 years ago or so, I think 2000. And so I just like to read it to you. And uh, for what it's worth, probably nothing, but uh, this is my really first and only experience with, I say UFO which means unidentified. Uh, this was so close, so visual that it was identified, but so I don't know if that's a proper terminology, UFO. Anyway, I'll just read this to you. My wife, Mary Lou, my daughter, Marissa, and my niece, Teresa, and myself were at the twin drive-in theaters in Stockton, California in 1977 to see the remake of the movie King Kong. I had seen the original made in the 30s and was looking forward to seeing this one with all its special effects. The screen we would see the movie on was facing west. West. Dusk approached and the theater started its advertising. Get your fresh popcorn, drinks, etc. At that time, I was working at the Stompton Airport employed by San Joaquin County. As a kid, I'd always loved airplanes. and It was a treat to work at a place where you could talk to pilots and people interested in aviation. Some people never look up at the sky, but for some reason, if I'm outdoors, I'm always scanning. I'm always looking. Just curious, I guess. There's, there's lots of things up there. Uh, I saw a craft coming from the west, heading southeast. We were facing west. The, the twin drive-ins we were at, the, the screen we were watching was, was facing west. At first, I thought it was just a small airplane. I noticed some lights, but they were not compatible with any aircraft I had seen. My interest turned from the movie I really wanted to see to something in the sky. At some point I mentioned to my wife, daughter and niece, mentioned the craft. They were somewhat absorbed in the movie, which is logical. We didn't come there to watch the night sky. Anyway, I become totally involved watching this craft, which skirted the drive-in and seemed to be heading over downtown Stockton. I remember saying, I bet the guys in the tower, the airport tower, are looking at this thing. Like I said, I worked there at the uh, Stockton Airport at that time and was familiar with the tower and knew the guys that worked in it. So in my mind at that time, they didn't have radar then, but they, uh, I could just see them looking through binoculars because this craft was so, so close. Uh, they didn't have radar back then, but it wasn't a busy airport. They had lots of time to, to observe visually and check out things with binoculars. I kept watching from my car while the movie proceeded. This craft, after a while, seemed to be coming back our way. I got out of the car when I realized it was coming directly over us. I was scared because at some point during this event, I knew what I was seeing was something I had not seen before. A totally silent craft extremely slow moving with confusing lights. I watched it come directly over us, maybe 200 feet or less. This was not some streak of light or a blur you might have problems seeing. It passed right over our heads. A saucer-shaped craft, maybe 50 feet in diameter. It seemed to consist of two sections, or if not, rotating lights that flashed as it revolved give that impression. They were bright white that went 
alternately off and on as the craft revolved. I just stood there in awe as it passed silently overhead. My wife and the kids, like I said, witnessed it also. I thought the next day the local paper would have some unusual headlines, but not a word. Not a word from any news source. No one at the air airport tower mentioned it. No one to drive in, get out of the car as I did. What did we see? A U.S. top secret aircraft flying over downtown Stockton. This was not the Nevada desert. Whoever controlled this craft cared not who saw it. Which brings up the most perplexing question to me. Did anyone else see it at all? And how could they not see it? I could throw a rock and hit it. It flew directly overhead. It was there, even though it was dark, with all the lights from the drive-in. It was just so close. So close. So real. I am 68 years old now. I have a family and grandkids. I am retired from the Army National Guard. Also, I'm retired from active duty from the United States Navy. My word is my bond. I would never lie about anything like this, nor would my family. I have no reason to, zero reason to. I have told this story to numerous friends. My real friends believe me. Others scoff and roll their eyes. My nature is not to jump on any bandwagon. I am very skeptical about any eyewitness report. Ten people can describe an object ten different ways. Nuts and kooks abound, as we know. I saw what I saw, though I don't know what I saw. My family saw it. Uh, to this day, it's it's a mystery. Perhaps it was just a secret United States weapon, which I tend to believe nowadays. But the idea that it would fly right over Stockton in the 70s, this craft was totally silent, totally visible to anyone with eyes. And like I said, I'm very perplexed why no one reported it. Uh, it was in the sky for at least 15 minutes before it departed the same way it came in, slowly, with all those flashing lights. Uh, it was definitely a traditional looking flying saucer just like I'd seen in the movies from the 50s which made it so unreal and, and I guess unbelievable I think someday maybe we'll we'll know what I saw anyway that's my story and thank you for listening